Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. We are extremely pleased that we are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? You are knowing what you are wanting? Are you enjoying the expansion of your desire? Really? You like that feeling of desire? You like that feeling of wanting something? You like that feeling of knowing that there is more to manifest? You like it even when you've identified it and it hasn't manifested? We're just poking at you with a stick a little bit here. Because when you say yes to that and you really mean it, when you mean that, when you mean, I enjoy the feeling of a newly hatched desire to which I see no viable path of accomplishing it. But I trust because I understand how this works. I know about law of attraction. I know about my personal worthiness. I know that all of the cooperative components have already been assembled. And I know that it is only now a matter of me finding a way to vibrationally align with my own desire. And then the path will be lighted for me. When you feel that way, you feel invincible, don't you? In other words, when you know that there is nothing that is outside your ability to accomplish it, you only have to identify it. And you do that all day, every day, don't you? You have only to identify it. And once you have identified it, then it's a matter of preparing yourself vibrationally for the receiving of it. Interesting, isn't it? Abraham, does that mean it's possible? for me to look around my world identify something that I really want and even though I know I really want it I've written it down again and again you mean that there's a way that I could be vibrationally mismatched to my own desire and we say there is you can be mismatched to your own desire how do you know when you're matched to it and when you're mismatched well if you're matched to it it happened if it's on the way, then you're feeling good. You're feeling frisky and eager. If you're feeling worried about it, concerned about it, frustrated about it, unhappy about it, then you're holding yourself in a pattern of not allowing it. Today, we want to talk with you about how to allow the things you want. And we're going to be talking about the laws of the universe. You are aware of them. You've been listening to us for a little while. You know about the powerful law of attraction? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? And do you know that law of attraction is managing the vibrational frequencies of the universe? And do you know that you are a vibrational being first and foremost? So you're always transmitting a signal. And whatever you are giving your attention to is causing you to transmit that signal. So law of attraction is matching the signal that you're transmitting not yesterday and not tomorrow but now matching your now signal matching your now signal so what do you do about your now signal how do you prepare your now signal how do you approach this world here you are in your flesh blood and bony bodies mostly not even recognizing the fact that you are vibrational beings that you are transmitting and receiving mechanisms in a universe that's managed by law of attraction who is managing all of those transmissions so do you like knowing that you are vibrational and do you like knowing that there's a way to know what your vibrational output is your emotions tell you don't they your emotions let you know whether in this moment what you're broadcasting what you're broadcasting with your mind with your thoughts with your words what you're broadcasting whether or not it matches who you really are and all that you've come to we've been talking to you for a while and we've offered a whole lot of ways of helping you to reorient yourself hmm. reorient yourself into the realization to the remembering 
that you are vibrational beings because when you remember that and when you get a handle on what you're broadcasting and then when you practice what you're broadcasting consistently so that you get a vibrational rhythm going law of attraction will make it easy for you to keep whatever momentum you've got going going in other words if you're noticing something you offer in a vibration that matches it and since you're now offering a vibration that matches it you're going to realize it more because what you're offering vibrationally and what you are now realizing is going to come back to you more and more and more sometimes our physical friends say but wait couldn't someone just change what I'm observing so that when I observe something that's really good I will offer a signal that is really good and in offering that signal that's really good then I'll get more of what's really good and we say it does work like that but there's a faster way of going about this and a way that will always work for you and that is if you will decide that you don't need to wait for something good to observe before you broadcast a signal that matches something that you consider to be good then you're going to tune your frequency so that only things that would qualify in the category of what you consider to be good can be realized by you so it's an interesting thing isn't it do you get it do you believe that you are the creator of your own experience do you believe that you live in a vibrational universe do you believe that your thoughts are powerful do you think you have a pretty good handle on your thoughts <laughs> do you like knowing that your emotions let you know how aligned or not aligned you are and do you like knowing that if you're not aligned that there is a relatively easy path to the thoughts that feel better and that easier path is to become as general about the concept as you can in other words if there is something that you want and you cannot figure out how it's going to come or where it's going to come from or when it's going to be there or who's going to be there with it or bring it when those questions are active within you those questions that bring that feeling of doubt and more important that feeling of doubt is your indicator that as long as those questions are active within you you're not up to speed with what's in the vortex and it can't flow in and then you get sort of impatient and you try to manipulate things and manage things you try to do it with your action and we want to ignite within you today an awareness of the powerful leverage that you will discover when you do the only thing that matters which is tend to your grid your grid is your point of attraction your grid is your point of attraction it's where you are vibrationally it's what you're doing vibrationally it's the signal that you're outputting vibrationally and it's a signal that you're outputting that either matches or doesn't match what's in your vortex if it matches what's in your vortex you feel high flying you feel exhilaration you feel wonderful you feel inspired you feel like nothing can slow you down you feel ready you feel frisky you feel eager you're tuned in you're tapped in you're turned on you're in the right place at the right time what you say is right on cue everything comes out of you everything feels good to you and the entire universe that surrounds you or the parts that you are able to realize because of the high frequency of who you are the parts that you are able to see we started to say the parts that show themselves to you but there's more than just the parts showing themselves to you you have to be vibrationally in a place to realize those parts you see such a nice thing we've been talking for a while about when you were young you were in the playground there was a merry-go-round remember it you wanted to get on it but sometimes the other kids were on it and they had it going really fast and you couldn't get on you tried but it just spun you off in the bushes too much momentum and you weren't up to speed with it and so you didn't get on so we've been offering that analogy in order to help you to feel the vibrational differences between what you want and where you are because sometimes you're just bouncing right off from the things that you want because you've been practicing a vibration that's not up to speed with them so recently Esther has been envisioning this whirling disc up to speed with who she is really up to speed with who she is really up to speed with who she is and she realizes that if she's managed to already get on it if she's on it if she's on that disc and feeling good if she's spinning in that high flying vibration anything that might attempt to approach her in this very sometimes seeming congested world can't get on her wheel her momentum is such that 
it's got to be pretty high flying before it gets on with her you see what we're getting at you see what we're getting at you get your frequency up there where you belong and only things that match who you are can be part of your experience only those people who are ready for you only those experiences that are ready for you the traffic that you want the life experience that you want all things that you want the conversations from people people who could meet you on any level of this spinning wheel you could be on a wheel not feeling good felt bad when you went to bed felt bad when you got up complained about this complained about that you're justified you're not making it up life sucks so you're focused upon it you don't feel good you're not feeling very good who gets on your wheel these guys mm -mm. they're up there having a good time with somebody else you know who's getting on your wheel and when they get on you don't like it do you but there they are hmm. didn't expect to see you there should have there they are mucking around with you oh no not you too ah you're the last person I wanted to see today ah so what do you do when you recognize that you're not in a vibrational frequency that feels good to you and how do you know it two ways doesn't feel good and what's manifesting stinks in other words there's two ways to know what you're doing vibrationally you can tell by the way you feel and you can tell by what you're realizing you can tell by what you're tuned to and we're going to be pretty heavy on that word realizing because we want so much for you by the time you leave this gathering today to know for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure that nobody is doing anything to you everything is about your vibrational awareness your vibrational preparation it's about what you're doing with your grid and it's about where your grid is now your grid we're gonna spin your grid so it's a spinning wheel where is your grid spinning who are you picking up who's getting on the wheel with you who's getting on who's bouncing off if you feel terrible everyone wonderful bounces off if you feel awful everyone awful gets on <laughs> if you feel better they'll meet you at your level if you are high flying if you are high flying most of the world will not have access to you but those who do will make up a world that is delicious to you you see your point of attraction your grid your vibrational grid you create your own reality you are a vibrational being you are emanated signal all day every day what you emanated before even yesterday doesn't matter at all but it's likely that today's signal is going to be sort of like yesterday's signal because law of attraction keeps helping you keep the momentum going Ooh, such a good word the momentum going of where you are doesn't it if you're really in a bad mood isn't it easier to stay there than to pull out of it that's because of momentum so what do you do to slow the momentum what do you do to change the momentum what do you do to get off of a wheel that you don't want to be on and get on another one what do you do well first you have to accept that you are a vibrational frequency first you have to accept that you have the ability to focus yourself into a better feeling place and next you have to understand what your emotions are really telling you that your emotions are telling you all day every day what your frequency is not in relationship to those other guys who may or may not be climbing onto your wheel with you what is your vibrational relationship to your vortex to everything that you've put there to all that you've become to the source within you the only question that you really want to ask yourself is am I up to speed with the further most expansion of that which I am so you were source energy before you came into this physical body and here you are exploring the contrast that surrounds you knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want and adding to this vortex of creation it becomes more and more and more and more and more and when you have that which you call your death experience we like to call it croaking because there is no such thing as death you will re-emerge immediately into that high flying vibration of who you are we just want you to know you don't have to croak to do that there are so many ways of bringing yourself vibrationally up to speed and we'll talk about them with you as we visit with you about the things that are important to you so we think you understand everything we do